happy Valentine's Day, the day where we celebrate love and buy chocolates and more unnecessary things. I'll be real honest with you guys. I am watching The Bachelor right now, and all I can think while I watch this horrible TV show, and no offense to anybody who watches The Bachelor and likes it and willingly watches it, and I'm watching all of these women try to win over, you know, The Bachelor, and they're trying, you know, to dress certain ways and say certain things, and some of them are actually trying really horrible pickup lines and backstories, and that inspired me not to be on The Bachelor. It inspired me to do a story time of the worst, worst, worst pickup line I have ever received. First and foremost, I do not get pickup lines very often, ever. But when I do, apparently they are doozies. If you're new to this channel, you should know that I'm a performer, so when people come and see the shows, the cast normally comes out to greet the audience and we thank them, we're very polite to them, you know, they are you know, paying people, coming and making our show a business, and essentially they are the reason we have a job and a paycheck. But every once in a while, there will be a patron that will just say the most random things, and this is number one in my book. And yes, I did write this down. Let's fast forward 18 months. I was in the middle of the Caribbean, I was working on a cruise ship, and we had just finished, I think, our 80s show. And of course, when the show is over, we greet the cruisers, you know, where are you from, why are you vacationing, so on and so forth. Also, I should note this was during spring break. So spring break cruises, typically over half the ship is college age kids, they come on board because they don't want a designated driver when they're on vacation, they can go anywhere they want and drink all they want, mom and dad aren't there and they can do whatever they want. So it's spring break cruise, we finished our 80s show, oh, well, we're out just meeting people, I mean you can't go anywhere, we live with our clientele. And anyway, there is a group of guys and they just come up and you know they're gonna say something, like you can you ever tell when a guy approaches you like, He's got a plan, he knows what's going on. And a serious face, serious tone comes up and says, hey girl, I put the STD in stud. All I need is you. What do you say to that? There is nothing to say to that line. First of all, it's a horrible line because I don't know of any girl that would ever be like, oh, we met in a bar when he talked about how he didn't have any STDs, he just needed me. No one's going to say that. No one. But going back to the story, I just kind of stood there, like mouth open, like didn't have anything to say. People behind me are laughing hysterically that this has even happened. His bros are all like, oh man, you told her. And I just stood there, awkward, because awkward is what I do. And I just went, uh, Th thank you, and I walked away because you cannot say anything rude to these people. Again, hospitality is number one. We're trying to be polite, but seriously, who says things like that? And do they actually work? Do we know someone who's gotten, hey girl, I put the STD and stood, all I need is you, pickup line, and it worked? Have relationships started from this line? Am I the only one that doesn't like it? Who knows? But anyway, that is my story time for Valentine's Day because that's what I share with you guys on the day of love, Cupid, happiness, rainbows, candy, whatever. I hope you guys liked it. If you yourself have any horrible, terrible pickup line stories, please, please, please fill my Valentine's Day with a bunch of stories down in the comment section. If you're new here and you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to click the little red subscription button down below. It updates you whenever I upload a future video. I don't do story times very often, but maybe that will change. Hope you guys like this video. Happy Valentine's Day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. The Bachelor's still on. Oh no, they're all crying. I don't know anything about this show. All I know is you go on dates and they film you. I like my life only without dates.